So I want to just take a few minutes and show you the second laser that we use in our practice, the Soul. And it is also wireless. It has a remote foot control. Uh, it does have a charger where you can charge it. And I just want to go through the process because it's very simple to use and we'll demonstrate. Uh, so if you look on the back here, there's a, a key and then there's a charge area where we can we charge it during the course of the day. And if you turn the key, you'll see that the light went on. Okay. Now it is in a standby position. There's also two different types of tips. One is a skinnier tip, and it just simply slides in. And if we hit the foot control, you can see nothing happens. So we want to activate it, and you can see the green light coming on here. And if you run it, you'll see a light. You can see that there's a blue light as it's being activated. So the skinny tip I would use in most situations are my periodontal treatment or my debridement. There's also a thicker tip, which I will use for cutting. Or you can use both of them if, if you want to, but it gives me more of a troughed area. And you can see we have a blue light here. Now to activate it, you'll take some occlusal paper and you can simply run it. And you can see it's smoking up. And that'll just char the tip so that it now becomes a cutting tip. We don't do that with perio. Or if you prefer, you can use cork and char it that way. You can see where it says custom, we can actually set the settings that you prefer. Remember when we're troughing, when we're actually cutting tissue, we will burn the tissue or char the tissue and that probably isn't appropriate. We want to tone that down a little bit or bring the wattage down a little bit. Number two, all you have to do if you want to debride our hygienist, we'll just press the bead and it'll go to a preset setting, a pulseless or pulse setting, depending on what you want. And you can increase or decrease the setting as you feel appropriate. In perior hygiene, we're not really cutting the tissue, so we're not going to activate the tip whatsoever. And if you are in a pulseless mode, the wattage will be a little bit less than a pulse mode. We have a perio setting, using it for our, our various periodontal therapies. And then finally, a cut setting, which will be activated. It will be in a pulseless mode, a continuous wave mode. And that will allow us to cut efficiently as we are troughing the tissue. You can see the wattage is listed. We talked about up and down, depending on how you feel or the pigmentation of the tissue. Again, the machine will go into a standby mode when you turn it on and you have to activate it to have it used. If you deactivate it, that green light's on, it will not work. We can control the sound if you want to hear sound. I like to hear the sound because the patients feel that something is actually happening. We can also increase or decrease the brightness of the blue light. As we're using the light source, you can see we can turn it up or down. Here it says level one, level two, level three, four, or five. That'll increase the brightness. So these fibers in the system are flexible and can be broken if you are a little rough on them or you bend them. So just be careful with that. They are made of a, a silica material with a polymer cladding. Just be careful that you don't press or bend them too much as you're using them. They are one-time use tips and you want to wipe off any of the debris that may accumulate on the tips as you're working with. And then there's also an emergency stop. Now the last thing that you have to realize with this is you have to wrap the cord carefully when you're done using the unit, don't pull on it. Again, there's a fiber optic within the cord itself. So be very conscious of putting it back into the correct position.